a 165-year-old building in New Carlisle will soon be torn down. Town officials say the First Methodist Church is becoming a safety hazard, leaving them with no other option. It's kind of been demolishing it itself on its own. Um, just years of neglect, unfortunately. Groves works at the historic New Carlisle Museum. She has many memories of the church from attending Sunday school there with her mother to her grandparents' wedding. It's sad. It has a lot of memories, you know, carries a lot of memories for people in the community. And um, so it is, you know, very sad to see one of our oldest buildings in, in town go. We try to to save what we can and sometimes it just doesn't work out. Built in 1858 at the corner of Front and Cherry Street, the church hosted countless weddings, funerals and Sunday school sessions. As a congregation grew, a new church was built on Timothy Road in 1964. The Front Street location sold to another congregation in the late 90s. Its last owner, Kevin Sullivan, gave it up to the town after not being able to keep up with the investment. I mean, I, I wanted it to be brought back to its former glory. Sullivan says while he was able to keep up with maintenance for 15 years, his health went south and so did the building, pushing him to surrender it. For me, it's that, you know, I, I, I think that the church is meant to be a gathering spot for people to worship their God. What's next for the site? Some say the site could be turned into a small park. However, town officials say that it's too early to know for certain. Many in the neighborhood say they want to salvage the windows and bell that are still in the church, hoping they can be displayed, preserving its history. It could be on display and maybe maybe a small um, kiosk that shows some historic pictures of the church and kind of gives a history for people to, to know what was on that site. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.